In 1956, Kenya made its first appearance in the Olympics as a British colony. Eight years later, in 1964, Kenya returned to the Olympics as an independent nation in Tokyo, Japan. This time, bagging its first bronze medal in the 800 meters event when Wilson Kibrigut won it. Over the years, Kenya has gone on to make a name for itself, notably in the track and field events. And, as the number of athletes representing the country increased, so did the number of medals won by these same athletes. Indeed, every team that Kenya has taken to the Olympics has been different in its own ways, producing athletes like David Rudisha who broke the 800 meter world record. As Kenya seeks to return to Tokyo, the city it got its first medal in, the National Olympic Committee is working in tandem with the national federations to ensure that the medal tally will only get better and more records will be toppled by our very own. That is why this year's team to the Olympics is special. For the first time we've introduced what we call a technical support team. This is to enhance and support performance. We brought in a nutritionist, we brought in a strength and conditioning uh, expert who has been working with this team. As you know, sports is becoming more and more scientific. The days of the coach just telling somebody, go out there and do your best and give it all has changed. Giving it all now has to be supported. Kenya's Olympic bounty is by far the largest the country has ever taken to any Olympics event. As compared to the 87 athletes who represented Kenya in Brazil in 2016, already 90 athletes have earned their ticket to this year's Olympics. The National Olympic Committee is also looking to add more names on the list and is tasking the national federations to conduct trials before the end of June. But beyond having a lot of athletes going to this year's Olympics, Kenya has also scored a first when it comes to the issue of gender representation, with the International Olympic Committee urging countries to have gender representation in the squads they take to the Olympics. Kenya, for the first time, has more female athletes. The gender ratio in Team Kenya is 2 to 3, with women from the rugby team and the volleyball team contributing to this factor. Aside from impacting on the gender representation factor, the inclusion of the women's rugby and volleyball team means we're going to field more team sports in this year's Olympics, with the inclusion of the men's rugby national team. People normally say if you want to see our countries doing, just look at the team sport. Because an individual athlete can get the family support and make it. And that has happened a lot in Kenya. But to put a team together, it means certain uh, systems have to align to be able to make that team work. Who coaches 70s, former Kenya 7s and 15s international Ted Omondi looks to perhaps infuse his DNA onto the playing style. We will be honored to watch Vivian Chiriot make a record fifth appearance at the Olympics. The pocket rocket holds the 5,000 meters Olympic record. And with our prowess in the track events, we can only hope it will translate to the road race. It is too early to predict how Team Kenya will perform at the Olympics, but with these attributes, it cannot hurt to be optimistic.